So hello everyone. So my name is Chang Ning. So today I'm going to present uh, a paper called On the Modeling and Impact of Negative Edges in Graph Conventional Network for Node Classification. So this paper is collaborated with my supervisor, Julia and Lewis, and it has been um, accepted uh, in the Graph Learning Frontier at New Rift 2023. Um, so basic, basically, this paper aims to extend graph conventional network for side graph. So let me explain in detail a little bit. So as we might know, graph conventional network uh, have been very popular method which shows state-of-the-art performance for node classification in a semi-supervised learning context. And however, it's only applicable for unsigned graph when it contains only possibling. So we aim to extend this method to side graph, which contains simultaneously uh, positive and negative link. So we can imagine um, an example uh, in this figure. So for example, we have like a social network when people can give like a rating to each, to each other based on the level of trust. So for example, if Anna trusts Helen, she can give uh, Helen like a positive rating which show uh, her trust uh, to Helen. Or if Anna um, did trust Felix or Edward, she can give them like negative rating, uh, which can be considered as negative address. And the problem here is that how we can extend the design to this kind of side graph. So next slide, please. Uh, next slide, please. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, in um, yeah, in our paper, we have like two aims. The first, uh, we also like uh, give a comprehensive review about the previous research and highlight like um, uh, the limitation when uh, they extend this end to adapt to the side network. And we also uh, propose our model and uh, several of this variation to capture the negative edges in side graph. Okay, so this one is about the method. So one way to extend uh, the ZSAN to site graph is apply a method called regional ZSAN. So this method is quite straightforward because it just you like additional parameter to capture the negative edges. And the method I want to discuss, uh, I want to focus more today is about lab ZSAN and to our proposed model called different ZSAN and nonlinear ZSAN. Okay, so this one is is uh, this figure is is illustrates how different site model capture the negative information. So you can see that the first model, which uh, which were proposed by the previous research, and the other two mo two model, deep design and nonlinear design, are our proposed model. And let me explain um, the difference between them. So firstly, if we look at the lab design, so, so you see that we have like two dimensional coordination system here. So you can imagine it's like the features uh, feature space. So imagine like each user in a network have like two features. So we can uh, we can represent these two features in the two dimensional uh, coordination uh, system. And we have like node A and node E here. We can correspond for um, Anna and yeah and um, her negative neighboring node, and this A and A node, uh, sorry A and E node are connected by a negative link. So how A can receive negative link, negative link for negative information from node E? So so if A and E is connected by positive link, A will take uh, directly information from node E. But if A and E coded by negative link, is we take the opposing value of node E. So how we can get the opposing value? So in lab is uh, is apply a method is called antipodal proximity. So it just reflect E through the origin O here, and we can collect the E prime here. So A we 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 receive information from E prime. So instead of uh, being attracted by node E, A will be being attracted by the opposing value of E, which is e, e prime. However, we find that uh, approach have a limitation because it's we not translation invariant. So imagine that if we move A and E uh, to the right a little bit, uh, and we keep the distance between A and E the same, right? So even when we have uh, we 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 keep the distance between A and E the same, but we just move um, A and E to the right a little bit, the negative update also change. So that means this method is not translation invariant. So to remedy this issue, we propose another approach. So instead of reflect the point to the origin, we reflect the point to a target node itself. So you can see that in the deep descent, uh, the second figure. So instead of reflect node E through the origin, we reflect E through the A itself. 
right? So you see that even now we move A and E to the right or to the left, and we keep the distance untrained, uh, the, the negative update also doesn't train. So that's mean our method translation invariant. And we also propose another method called nonlinear distance. So the only difference between this method is about the scaling factor. So, um, so what does this mean? The scaling factor in nonlinear distance is established based on a simple intuition. So for example, if you see that node A and F is already far away from each other, so we don't want the update from node F to node A uh too large right because it's already separatable so we just want uh f ram to a is quite small and we think that is enough but for example a and e is quite close to each other so we want the update need to be large so we can tell the difference between them so it's is like um the inverse of the the of their original distance so that is how the um, scaling factor are different in this method and we uh, we validate our model on a data set which is called Bitcoin data set. So this one is like the discharge and trust, uh, trust working network. So when people or user can give rating to each other. So the importance of this data set because like in a trading system, uh, the user are anonymous and they don't know who they're going to trade with. So after each transaction, they will give rating to each other. And if a user that tried to scam or steal money from other, they will get, they will receive like negative rating. So this is really useful to um, classify uh, who's are trustworthy user and who's are fraudulent user. So we apply uh, our pro our method to this uh, network, and and you can see that based on the binary F1 score and macro F1 score, you can see that our method, which are DBCN and nonlinear ZSEN, is appear quite competitive compared to other computing model. So, I mean, if you want to know more about it, I can, yeah, I can discuss with you um, later. But I mean, um, based on this, uh, based on this result, we can we can see that. Uh, um, uh, our model provide like the potential promise uh, to apply on very thick side network. And I also uh, observe an interesting thing here is that why lab descent is learned from enemy, but our model deep descent and nonlinear descent is learned from individual enemy. So I mean, in future we are good like to uh, conduct a more comprehensive study across uh, a different uh, realistic sign and work with different structure and also we would like to examine or validate our model with network uh, more than two classes so this is the end of my presentation thank you for listening